This is not just any geometry problem. It is an amazing geometry problem which use four different theorems together to unlock one beautiful solution. We are given a circle, a chord from here with length as 14 units, a perpendicular line to this chord from here with length as 6 units, and another line perpendicular to the this one with a length of 18 units like this. Our goal is to find the radius of this circle. Sounds simple, right? You can pause the video if you want to solve this on your own, and when you're ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. First, draw a line that is parallel to this six unit segment, just like this. Since this full vertical segment is 18 units, and this chord is of 14 units, so this small portion here must be of four units, right? Now extend this chord by drawing all to the circle and label this remaining vertical segment as H. Now according to the perpendicular bisector of a chord theorem, if you draw a perpendicular line from the center of a circle to its chord, it will divide the chord into two equal halves. So let's draw a perpendicular line from the center to both these chords like this. That means each side of this chord becomes seven units. Now since these lines are parallel and we have a right angle here, that means this side is also seven units and this is also of seven units. Now applying the same perpendicular bisector theorem to this chord as well, that gives us seven plus H on one side and seven plus four on the other side. Therefore, H must be equal to four units, correct? Let's clean this as we jump to the next part. Now using the chord chord power theorem, which is if two chords intersecting inside the circle, creating four small line segments like this, then a times B equals C times D. Now let's extend this all up to the circle and let's label this piece as X. Thus applying the chord chord power theorem, we have 18 times four is equal to six times X. That gives us X equal to 18 times four over six, which is 12 units. So this full chord becomes 12 plus six, that is 18 units. Let's clean up again for our next part. Connect these two endpoints with a straight line passing through the center of the circle. Now applying Thales' theorem that is, if one side of a triangle is the diameter of a circle, the opposite angle must be a right angle, and that also confirms this line passes through the center. Let's label the radius as r, so this diameter becomes two times r. Now using everyone favorites Pythagorean theorem, we get two r squared equals 14 squared plus 18 squared. That gives us 4r squared equals 196 plus 324, which is 520. Now dividing both sides by 4, we get r squared equals 130 units, and thus the radius r is the square root of this, which is approximately 11.4 units. And that's our answer. Amazing, isn't it? Four powerful theorems coming together for one beautifully satisfying solution. But wait, before you go, Here's a bonus problem for you. Can you find the radius of this circle in terms of x, y, and z instead of numbers? Drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can figure it out. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more brain-teasing math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.